What's up everybody? It's Megan with Project Freya and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today we are here to talk about the fifth month update on the Twitch journey, streaming with anxiety. Real quick, before we get too far into that, make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more content like this. And this Saturday, Halloween! October 31st at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be doing the very first 24-hour stream. Uh, there will be costumes, there will be pumpkins, there will be spooky, scary ghosts. So make sure you stop in and say hello. Link to the stream and the Discord and all that stuff will be in the description box below. Uh, and without further ado, let's get started on the five-month update. So last time we spoke, which uh, I will link somewhere up whichever, wherever, make sure you check that one out because reasons. In that one, I went over some major updates on the stream and this is just gonna be a continuation of where we are since then. So last time we spoke, things were somewhat in a downward spiral. There had been lots of changes. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out who I am as a person and a streamer. So trying to establish and find myself plus a lot of major fluctuations with the stream due to my fluctuations in the content. Since then, we have actually hit 200 followers on the Twitch channel. Yay! I can't believe that I tricked 200 people into following me. I mean, what? I honestly couldn't be more proud of this achievement and to think that, I, I mean, 200, like, wow. Since I last spoke about this, I have actually found a therapist and started therapy. I know in the last four month update video, I, I put down some advice and some resources that I had used to try and better myself. Um, I haven't really gotten any new things to share with you. I will, as soon as I think of them, or as soon as we discuss them in therapy, I will make sure to, you know, share them with you. Uh, and as always, we do still have the mental channel um, in the Discord if you want to talk. Like, I am always there. We have community that's always there. But as far as growth as an individual, it's really just been more of the same. Uh, just figuring out what works for me and what doesn't, uh, trying to grow a little bit thicker of a skin for the stream, stuff like that. Um, so while I don't really have a lot of advice to give in this one, I will just give you a bit of an update on what my goals are, what I've been up to. Honestly, this month has been a lot, I mean a lot, of phasmophobia. I was hesitant to pick this one up because I had gotten some feedback from some viewers that they weren't really into watching it, but after enough requests from friends to play it, I gave it a try, and honestly, it's it's been one of my favorite games this year. It's just really fun to play with friends. It's got some room for improvement there's definitely some glitches but playing it with people has just been um, i i think it's great it's been a lot of what my content has been lately uh i have actually gotten back into rocket league a little bit we i try and start off the stream with it just while everything's getting established we kind of just chill and play that for a bit until it's time for spooky ghosts or whatever else may be on the agenda that day. A big focus for me right now is how to improve my YouTube content, not only in what I am delivering to you, but in the way that I'm delivering to you. Due to my system, my computer system limitations, my streams, as far as the gameplay videos, I feel have been struggling a little bit. So my financial goals right now are all stemming around improving my system so that I can give or produce better YouTube content. I also would like to get a little bit better at editing. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from people saying my edits are great, which it's always nice to hear that people think what I'm doing is good, but I do feel that there's room for improvement. So just practicing with editing and practicing making better cuts and things like that's gonna continue to be on my practice and to-do list 
not to just talk about things that I want that cost money, but if you are not familiar with the Twitch channel uh, and all the artwork that's on there, it is a little bit of a group effort. We have a few artists that contributed, but I did do a little bit of myself. Uh, I made Halloween themed edits to the emotes and I would love to do that for the other holidays. However, I did have to return the drawing tablet that I was using. So I would love to pick up a drawing tablet, not only to practice drawing and getting a little bit better at it, but just so I can continue to give out engaging seasonal emotes for the community on the Twitch channel. Uh, along with the Discord, you can always access them there as well, and they're free if you use them there. <laughs> Look, I am so sorry. This always seems to happen right when I'm recording a video. The Discord just blows up, but I'm gonna take it as a positive because it means the community is being engaging and talking with one another. But I have, I feel like I have so many goals and things that I would like to do as far as improvement, but the biggest one I definitely need to focus more on is my physical health. I used to be so, so like strong and I used to, I mean, obviously I used to lift weights a lot and I really, when I got into my last job where I spent like a lot of time behind a computer, but miserable, uh, I, I could say it's all the circumstances fault that I got this way, but you don't need a gym to work out. Anyway, I don't want to go too far into it because it's kind of like a touchy subject for me and it's something that I really need to push myself harder, but since I was just talking about goals and the way things are, I thought I should put that out there that it's still like one of the big goals for me. I'm trying to eat better and trying to exercise more consistently. I just noticed this whole time there's been a can of air in my backdrop. So, <laughs> sorry about that. That aside, like goals aside, uh, we have noticed some growth. While it has been slow, uh, it, it has been nice to see that my YouTube content is getting farther out there. What's the word I'm looking for? It's reaching more people, uh, getting a few more views than I've been used to. Uh, we're up to, I believe, 37 subs on the YouTube channel now, which is still a very low percentage of the people that do actually click and watch the videos. Still, I'm very grateful for the ones that I have, but I am curious to hear your feedback. I feel like I've been trying a variety of things. I've got gameplay of all different games available. Is that the kind of thing you guys want to see? Do you want more of these one-on-one -on -one conversations or is this not really your thing? Um, leave a comment below if you're not comfortable with that. Make sure you send me a message in the Discord. I love to hear feedback. It helps me grow and you know, growth is important to me. I'm sorry that this update is rather short. It's been a lot of the same old, same old, the slow and steady, but we have noticed positive growth. So that's something. And uh, again, I, I'll i just, I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy your Halloween. I hope to see you in the stream. Bye.